What we're working on here today is a Husqvarna riding lawnmower that the blades keep disengaging. The uh, owner already replaced the PTO switch as well as the seat switch and that wasn't it so we're going to take a look, closer look at the clutch assembly. So what I did here is I disconnected the electric clutch here and I'm going to power it up off of the battery with some jumper wires to see if I, it is activating or not. Okay, I have the uh, electric clutch jumpered out and going to the battery over here nothing and our battery is fully charged at 12.6 volts so we'll go ahead and take the uh, clutch assembly off For safety reasons you want to uh, block the back wheels jack it up and make sure it's supported next I'll take uh, 5 eighths I'll leave the belt on there and uh, take that bolt out of the center okay it helps if you have an impact gun and got the bolt loose there just pull that out and that clutch assembly will fall down okay to get this off I needed to remove the bottom belt on there and I uh, took the wiring harness off of there and I did a continuity check and one of the wires has no continuity so I'm going to take this apart here see if I can find where the brake is and fix that see if the uh, clutch will work after that okay did a continuity test here on this wiring harness that plugs into the back of the clutch and this wire here has no continuity so this wire here is bad so I went and uh, made up some uh, connectors here I put that in there this part of the uh, wiring harness is good I'm going to place that on there and take some shrink tubing and uh, put that on there and make it all good okay have my two wires there put some shrink tubing around it clutch works Okay, I have the uh, heat shrink on there. It's nice and tight. I'm just going to uh, wrap this up a little bit with some protective uh, tape here. We'll reinstall it and we should be good to go. Before I install it, I'm going to take a little bit of anti seize here and put it on inside here so in case we uh, need to take it off it doesn't rust on to the uh, shaft when we're installing this this little notch here corresponds to this little tab it has to slide up on there that keeps it from turning when you engage the clutch also you need to ensure that the keyway is lined up to the crankshaft and if it's off a little bit just turn this on the back side here that will turn the keyway okay got it up there got this lined up and then notch that has to be in there Got the bolt in there now I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. I'm going to use an impact here. Uh, 
I know there should be some type of torque spec, but it'll turn the motor over if you uh, tighten it up. So we, I'm just going to use an impact. Next, I'm going to take and put that lower belt on that I took off earlier so I could uh, get the unit to drop down. Okay, I got the belt on there. I just put it on there, rotated it around. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to route this a little different. I made the wires a little longer. So I'm going to have them just come over here. I'm going to zip tie it to the frame here and plug it in, and we should be good to go. Okay, I'll take my little uh, brace out of there, lower this down, we'll check it out. <laughs> 